How do knee medial plane structures impact rotational and translational stability? A 2024 French scientific publication by Guégan et al. analyzed the role of various medial plane structures by applying precise movements on the knee with a robotic arthrometer, the Dynelax, to reveal their impact on knee stability. It concluded key structures including the ACL, SMCL, DMCL, PHMM, along with other components play crucial roles in knee stability, providing new insights to improve ACL treatment. The study reveals how each ligament structure contributes to controlling anterior translation, medial and lateral rotation, providing a deeper understanding of knee biomechanics. Understanding these biomechanics helps surgeons make informed decisions before ACL reconstruction surgery and after during rehabilitation. Accurate knee assessments are critical for a successful treatment of ligament-related injuries. This 2024 study advances our understanding of knee ligament biomechanics. It was made possible thanks to the Dynelax Robotic Knee Laxity Arthrometer, a unique tool that makes dynamic assessments of the knee in rotation and in translation. Quote, the Dynelax laximeter, with its precision of up to 0.1 millimeter, allowed us to assess the functional roles of each medial knee component. Furthermore, Dynelax goes beyond being a simple research tool. It's a powerful asset for improving clinical practice. It has been proven to detect partial ACL ruptures more effectively than MRI. It enhances surgical planning before ACL reconstruction surgery, and it enables ACL graft resistance monitoring during rehabilitation to deliver personalized ACL treatment. The Dynelax robotic arthrometer enhances the full spectrum of ACL treatment from injury to full recovery.